This video covers a perpendicular bisectors, a concept in the IB Maths AI course. The theory is in topic two functions under the subtopic of linear equations and graphs. However, the application of perpendicular bisectors actually mainly appears over in topic three in Voronoi diagrams. And I'll explain why it appears there um, in a second. Let's firstly talk about what a perpendicular bisector is. Let's consider this diagram here in the top left, we have a line segment from A to B. That's this dashed blue line segment here. Now the perpendicular bisector of this blue line segment is this green line here, this green line C. Now the green line cuts through the line segment at a right angle. That's why we call it perpendicular. So it's cutting through at a right angle, making a cross. And the word bisector means that it cuts through it exactly halfway between between points A and B. So you can see that there's little lines here that represents, represents that the distance between A and C is equal to the distance from C to B. Now, often in IB exam questions, you'll be asked to find the equation of this green line. So it will say, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector between points A and B. And this is also very useful for Voronoi diagrams because we actually use perpendicular bisectors to construct Voronoi diagrams. So, so consider this diagram down here. Now I won't go into it in too much detail because there is a dedicated video on Voronoi diagram in this video series. But just briefly, consider these two points here, X3 and X4. We create a Voronoi diagram by drawing the perpendicular bisector between those two points, which is this line here, C and D. So this whole diagram here is created by a series of perpendicular bisectors. Okay, let's try an example here. We are asked to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. So we have this line segment here from A to B, and we need to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Now that perpendicular bisector is going to look something like this. And I know that because I know that it's going to cut through it at a right angle. So it's going to make a little right angle here. And it's going to cut through it um, at the midpoint between A and B or halfway between A and B. So I've just drawn that roughly there. But we're going to find exactly where that coordinate is and then find the gradient of this light blue line. And then we are going to find the equation of that line. So we work through this three-step process here. So let's go ahead and do this. So step one is to find the coordinate of the midpoint between points A and B, because that's where this blue line, the light blue line, sorry, the perpendicular bisector, that's where it will cut through. Now, recall the midpoint formula. It's this one here. Essentially, it's taking the average coordinates of the X values of the X coordinates and average value of the Y coordinates, and that's our midpoint. So let's go ahead and do this. That will equal... Uh, I'm going to call this point A, point one. So this will be X1, Y1, so X1, Y1, and this will be X2, Y2. So my midpoint will be X1 plus X2, so it's negative one plus three over two. And the Y coordinate will be Y1 plus Y1, Y2, so one plus three over two. And if I was to simplify this all in one go, uh, the X coordinate will be negative one plus three is two over two is positive one. And the Y coordinate will be one plus three is four over two is two. So my midpoint between points A and B, which is where my perpendicular bisector cuts through it, will have this coordinate here, one comma two, which is where I have drawn it there, but I'm gonna do it a little bit, a little bit more accurately. So this coordinate here is coordinate one comma two. Okay, so that's step one done. Let's now advance to finding the gradient of this perpendicular bisector. So this perpendicular bisector that's like this, it looks like it's gonna have a negative gradient. The way that we're going to find it out though is using our knowledge of the gradient relationships of perpendicular lines. So the gradient of the perpendicular bisector will equal the negative reciprocal of the gradient AV. Now, if you're not sure why that is, I recommend going and watching the video titled Gradient and Intercepts of Linear Lines in this video series. First things first, let's find the gradient of line AB, and I'll just do this down the bottom here. So line AB, so the gradient of AB will equal, it's going to be our gradient formula, so Y2 take Y1 over X2 take X1. Now that will equal 
So three subtract one over x2 uh, take x1. So three subtract negative one. And I'll do this all in one go. The top of the fraction, three take one will be two. The bottom of the fraction will be three take negative one, which is four. So two on four, which is can be simplified down to one on two. Now feel free to check that on your calculator if you like, but we have the gradient of line segment AB is one on two. So now if we use that, we can find that the gradient of the perpendicular bisector PB is equal to negative one half. So it's going to equal negative one, sorry, it's not negative one half, negative one on one half. And feel free to check this in your calculator, but this will equal one on a half is two, so this will actually equal negative two. Okay, so now we have the gradient of the perpendicular bisector, negative two, and we have the coordinate that it passes through, which is one, two. We can now use the equation of a linear line in point slope form to find the equation of this perpendicular bisector. So let's go ahead and do this. This will equal y subtract. Now I'm going to use this point here. I'm not gonna use my y1, y2 anymore because my perpendicular uh, bisector doesn't actually pass through um, either of these two points. It actually passes through this one here. So my new y, uh, x1, y1 will actually be this point here. So x1, y1, and I'll get rid of these. Okay, so y take y1, which would be y take two is equal to negative two x take x1. So x subtract one. Let's now clean this up and I'm gonna leave my answer in. Um, I could either leave it in standard form or slope intercept form. I'm actually gonna leave it in slope intercept form. So y subtract two is equal to, let's expand out the right hand side. So negative two x plus two. And let's now add two to both sides we get y equals negative two x plus four. So this here is the equation, this one here, y equals negative two x plus four. This is the equation of the perpendicular bisector, this line here. Okay, that concludes our video on perpendicular bisectors.